Do you hear my squeaky shoes? Is that the beat you're dancing to? <laughs> yeah, squeak shoes. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Hey, Harper's Bazaar, I'm Julianne Huff, and I'm so excited for you to come get ready with me for my Broadway debut in POTUS. You ready? Come on in. All right, I'm so excited. Today is my Broadway debut, and I'm gonna be getting ready. I can't wait for you to come along with me, and this is just so exciting. This is my first time living in New York. My only New York experience is really like black cars and morning shows, so the fact that I get to actually be here and immerse myself, I feel like I'm 18 again. You know, it's like a new chapter of life for me. I'm discovering things for the first time. I'm supposed to be here right now, and I know that sounds very woo-woo, but call me woo-woo not just in the city, but also in the theater community and the Broadway community after two years of such a crazy shutdown um, and feeling it like coming back alive again. It's pretty exciting. So I'm really happy that you're here and you get to see me kind of go from wet hair and no makeup to what my Broadway look is gonna be for tonight. So should we get ready? This is cute. Yeah. As London is all very nice, we can definitely Keep like it tight, tight and here, sleek. and just a little lift. And maybe it doesn't just have a little to be lift. so it's like effortless and chic, but also like, oh, we just threw this together because that's always how it's supposed to look, right? Like I just did it myself. <laughs> Let's go. What I've been kind of doing recently, just kind of vibe-wise, is doing mm. that kind of like I love orangey red lip, love especially it. with that color. I love. Yeah. Um, other than that, I'm easy. Well, I think gorgeous skin, yeah. and it's like a summer vibe, and it's the, the dress has all sorts of peekaboos. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna keep the skin natural, and okay. then we'll do that lip accent. Perfect. I love it. And I'm just gonna see actually where the dress is, because I, oh, right. I don't even have the dress here. Oh, it is here. Yeah. Oh, yay, oh, we good. have a dress. Good. That's a good, that's a good thing. <laughs> Wait, this is actually kind of funny. So my mom flew in yesterday, I put on a white dress today and she was putting on a white dress, so I changed because it was a lot. Because then I looked and she also is wearing a, a yellow dress tonight. <laughs> so like talk about like being connected. We definitely are wearing the same thing. <laughs> yellow kind of just feels like my color. <laughs> I just love yellow. It makes me feel joyful. It makes me feel happy. Yeah, so I've been going for more of an understated elegance, more chic. I don't know, I've been shifting my my style a little bit recently is like, again, the less is more, a little bit more like understated. I feel like a lot of my career and my life has been a lot about like fake tans and, um, you know, rhinestones. <laughs> and I'm 33, 34 this year. I just feel like there's something about like less is more and just let, let the, the personality come through. Literally, my personality is gonna come through these holes, so um, I hope you're prepared. <laughs> so tonight is my Broadway debut, and honestly, like, I don't know if it's hit me yet because we've been in rehearsal and then tech and then previews and opening, and it's been so wild. There's been no real time to breathe, so I think this is the first night where we're actually gonna feel the celebration. It's just been such a monumental moment, I think, in my career, because this has been a dream of mine to, to do Broadway and be a part of the community. This next little phase of life for me, it's about being a student again, and I think this is the perfect opportunity. I feel like I'm in theater school, like I was when I was 10 years old, and I'm just learning and getting a master class from Susan Stroman herself every single day, feeling like I'm growing as an artist and my craft and being surrounded by the most incredible group of ladies and women that I've ever been around. They are the kindest people, and I feel so supported. I feel like I just got all these like sisters and aunties and friends for life. POTUS is so great because when you think of POTUS, you definitely think of a male president, which that's what we've had so far. But this cast is actually all female. So uh, seven women on stage from start to finish, you never see the president. And it just shows how 
you know, there's lots of really capable women that surround a lot of really powerful men in the world. And whether it's in business and different industries, we chose the White House because that really is the biggest stage to showcase how there are a lot of women supporting the man. It just shows how much we enable certain things to happen because we don't necessarily feel like we would ever get the shot to do it. I was gonna say it's a pretty inspiring story, but when you actually watch the play, we're absolutely insane. You! You are not nice to me! Oh my God! Running around, slamming doors, throwing up, blood on our face. Like, it's insane. <laughs> so, as inspiring as I might have sounded, it's actually just a lot of fun. I'm here about the position. What position? <laughs> the position. Why are you winking? They told me to be discreet. There's nothing more timeless than a a red lip. I feel like sometimes when I do less eyes and make it about the mouth, I feel like I actually look younger. Let the essence come through. <laughs> I, I like to say that I'm like a closeted hair and makeup artist. Like I love it so much and I've been doing it so long, yeah. I learned competition hair and makeup, so I went from like extreme to like, how do I do the most subtle, what I kind of do, to be honest. I do my lip and then I like blot with my finger and I put it oh, on my cheeks. Oh, great trick. And then I put the, the powder on top. Yeah, 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 that's a great trick. So mom is here and when mom is here, she always takes care of you. So mom is steaming my dresser right now. <laughs> Thanks mom. You're welcome. getting a little hot over here. <laughs> Whoops. You're having a facial you didn't know yeah. you scheduled? I love being around my, my girl. She's just like a ray of sunshine all the time. So I feel very, very blessed. The plan for today obviously was to wake up with my mom in New York visiting for my opening. We walked around uh, the West Village actually and got a bunch of like beautiful branches for my house. Came here to get ready, feeling like the buzz and the energy of this opening. I don't know, it's fun to get dressed up too because we've been in rehearsal wear for so long. So getting dressed up, going over to the red carpet and really just like taking every moment to be present and celebrate. I'm really trying to just soak it in and enjoy it. And then we're gonna do the show and hopefully our audience is gonna be rolling on the floor laughing and peeing themselves because that's the whole purpose. <laughs> just don't drink a, you know, a lot of water before you come to the show. <laughs> All right, we got hair, we got makeup. We should put on the dress. Check it out. And here we go. <laughs> Voila. Just kidding, <laughs> but we are wearing yellow. This yes. is what happens when you are a mother-daughter combo. I love it. I feel like it's elevated and understated at the same time. So effortlessly chic, which I feel like is sort of what we've been wanting to go for recently. But obviously it's not that subtle. I'm literally wearing bright yellow. <laughs> We're ready. We got the outfit, we got the hair, we got the makeup, we got the jewels and the jewels. <laughs> Weird. I can't sit still. <laughs> when I try to be serious, it just doesn't last long. <laughs> All right, mom, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go have a yellow moment. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're in the car. We are headed to the iconic Schubert Theater on 44th, which is like pretty epic to be having my Broadway debut at the Schubert Theater. We're on our way. We're gonna go do the carpet. We're gonna go see everybody and, and then get ready to go on for the show. Our opening, we're opening the show today. This is crazy. Ah, so exciting. I'm like nervous about the idea of being on Broadway, but like when I really think about it, I'm just so grateful and excited to share it with everyone. So I don't know, I would say nervous excited is, is sort of like, it's the same thing. <laughs> I'm excited for everybody to meet Dusty. She's so sweet and just really, really a kind human who looks at the world with such positivity and light and innocence. Affordable, safe, reproductive health care is a basic human right. I've found my like, my crew, like the cast and everybody and everybody surrounding me. I just feel really supported and also celebrated and safe and all the things. So 
it's kind of just the best of all the worlds, like bringing my personal life and my my stage self to together. And I just feel really excited about like this whole new chapter of life. Look, opening, these are all the guests, the guests, the gifts, all the gifts down here. I mean, it's pretty epic. And now I'm gonna go and put my own hair and makeup on for Dusty and basically do the show in less than an hour. So see you guys out there. <laughs> all right. Dusty is half transformed. Now we're gonna put the wig on. All right, here comes Dusty. You gotta make sure that it's on, right? So it's like you don't have a seven head or like a two head. <laughs> well, make sure you have a four head. Four head, there we go. Ready and let's start the pinning action because Dusty does a cartwheel. <laughs> she goes upside down, so we gotta make sure this is locked and loaded. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for spending the day with me. I had so much fun. Now I gotta go change and get my blue tongue on. <laughs> Bye, everybody.